Right, back in the shed again. Um, in this video, we're gonna be making this rear strut brace for the R34 from scratch. So thankfully, when it comes to the rear strut brace on the R34, this can actually give you these studs in the back of the strut tower here. So that's where they mount the factory strut braces on the GTRs. Um, on the GTs and GTTs, they seem to just have this silicon stuff that's put over the threads um, and they're not used at all. So I've gone through and already cleaned the silicon off of this side, which exposes the threads. So I'll go through and finish cleaning this side off and then we'll get to building the strut brace. So I've gone through and cut these bits of tube up here. Um, I've cleaned them up and deburred them and all of that. So these are basically gonna be the bases for the strut brace. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hole saw out a, um, a bit of sheet metal and I'm gonna cap the ends of all of these um, just on one side and then I'll drill the M8 hole to go through that'll leave room for the stud. Um, I just think that's a, a really neat way of um, creating a, a fixing or a fixture or a mounting point like that. Um, rather than using like square brackets and square tube and flat plate and all of that, like you can get a nice finish with this. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Uh, it just looks a lot nicer. I sort of picked it up off of a few fabricators online that I've been watching and um, yeah, it just looks really neat. So yeah, I'll get to that. So got those guys welded up. So there we go, nice hole on the bottom for the studs to go through, nice capped piece. So just gotta sand it up a bit, make it all nice and clean. So yeah, now we'll get onto the rest of it. Gotta join these guys together and then make the actual strut brace itself. Next thing we need to do is figure out how far these need to be spaced apart. So get the old verniers out and try and figure out how far these studs are apart, center to center. So it's an 80 millimeter spacing center to center on the studs so i'll we'll just double check it quickly and there to there yep bang on 80 millimeters center to center so that gives us our spacing for the mounts so now we know exactly how far apart they need to be before we weld them together so we've got these guys set up here exactly 80 millimeters apart from center to center and then you've measure across the gap there it's probably a bit hard to see with the camera uh, try and do it without moving anything it's 55 millimeters between the outsides of both of them so i'm going to notch a bit of tube and then um yeah basically just weld it in there join the two together and then got the mount sorted then we just need to make up the um the brace portion so I'm going to be using this to make the rest of the strut brace. It's 20 millimeter round tube. Um, it's got a nice, nice wall thickness to it as well. So it's, um, it's, it's nice and sturdy. So yeah, this will be nice to make the rest of the brace out of. It's nice and stiff and um, not, yeah, not big and bulky. It's not going to look ugly in there. So yeah, I'll measure some of this up and get to cutting.
Okay, so got it cut out now. Um, yeah, some real half-assed drill press notches. <laughs> but um, yeah, if we recall, we were chasing 55 mil between the uh, ends of the holes. Oh, screwed it over there a little bit. Yeah, bang on 55. So now the idea is we want well, we want that welded in there like that, but there's obviously a um, yeah, huge gap in there. These these guys aren't sitting where they are meant to be because I didn't have the right size hole saw to notch it for these guys. So I had to go slightly smaller, um, but not to worry. Get the old flat disc here. So we'll just scallop these guys out. Oh, see in there, so you can get the flat disc right in there and. Just scallop, scallop those sides away until they um, until it's a bigger radius and it fits on these guys. Okay, so this is the first mount done. Um, yeah, it's basically just like a little sort of dog bone setup, but yeah, you can see plated on the end. So welded it, up, welded it up, ground them down, a bit of a chamfer on the end, and then just welded the welded the 20 mil tube in between the two. So yeah, come up all right, I think. Um, looks a lot nicer as well, I think, than using like flat plate and square and right angles and all of that. Um, it's just a bit nicer using the round round tube. So um, yeah, I'll knock another one up and then we'll get to measuring up the center of the strut brace. Okay, so you can see you've got the mounts bolted up to the strut towers. So I just need to measure the distance now between here and then the other side and then we can make the, um, the actual brace to go between the two. Okay, so we've got the tube here that we're going to be using for the center section of the strut brace. Um, measured between the two mounts in the car, it's um, 995 millimeters. So I'll add a, so I've got to add an additional 20 millimeters to that to account for the notches on either end. So we want the, the inside of that radius of the notch to be 995. So the, um, I'm going to punch a 20 mil hole through them. So 10 mil either side. So that'll get us to, what is it, 995 at 20 is 1015. So yeah, 1015 mil, so I'll mark that out. Okay, so there it is all tacked up. Um, I didn't film tacking it up, I, I just bolted it into the car, or bolted these guys into the car and then set the, the center section of the brace in there and um, tacked it into place. So yeah, I'll, I'll weld it out now and then um, bolt it into the car and Get a good look at it once it's in there. There it is, all welded in now. Um, 
Yeah, you can sort of see if you can get, you see the nuts in there on the studs. So yeah, I think that looks a lot nicer than, like I said before, I just think this, this arrangement looks a lot nicer than angle or flat plate and square bar or whatever the hell you want to use. Just, um, yeah, just looks nice and neat. So yeah, there is a little bit of a downwards angle on those studs and then the, the center portion of that sits parallel and then, yeah, slopes down again on the other side. So, you know, absolutely wrapped with that. That turned out pretty well. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, it just needs to be cleaned up, primed, and then painted now. So, um, yeah, running out of time tonight. So I'll get that done another day. But, so yeah, absolutely stoked to have that done. Really happy with how that's turned out. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here. That's about all I've got time for tonight. So, yeah, short, sharp, and sweet, I think, this one. Um, well, I mean, I guess I'll see when I edit it. Like always, if you've made it to the end of the video, thanks heaps for watching. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.